should be clear here. There you go. Clear. I'm going to take an after call. Hey, Matt. Yeah. The show's over, but it, uh, and I don't know if we'll have an answer for you, but I figured we'd try and address it really quickly while we're tearing down the studio. Sure, if you don't mind. I, I appreciate it. Go for it. Look, uh, basically my question, I've already got an answer that I've formed over the last 16 years of being a not religious person, but get your guys' opinion on, or if you think, that there should be a primary goal or mission that, that we have certainly manufactured, not a purpose of life, but what do you think a mission for humanity should be or our, our species? So I, for me, it, I think one of the primary things that we should be focused on that I don't think we're properly focused on is figuring out how much time this planet can sustain us and what options we have once that runs out, how to become more efficient in that regard and how to potentially move on to somewhere else. A la inter Interstellar coming out here pretty soon. Yeah, it's, you know, whether, and if it turns out that's not possible, so we, I, think, I think we need to kind of be re researching two directions, is that if it turns out that it's not reasonable for us to go find another home, then while we're discovering how possible that is or what we might do to achieve it, we should be focused on what we can do to ensure that our home lasts as long as we can. I, I think I, I would agree with that wholeheartedly. But I, to me, that's almost, it should be almost sub to even a higher goal, which is my, what I think we should be. It's, it's, a, it's a secondary mission because that mission, which you're talking about, enables this next mission that I've got in mind, which is uh, basically the statement, the mission statement that we should have should be to learn as much about the universe, the physical universe that we can or reality that we possibly can um, through science, through verifiable methods um, such as science. And uh, the reason I think it's so important that we should talk about these things is that it really, those have huge trickle-down effects on people and their lives. And that's why I appreciate what you guys are doing because you, you facilitate these conversations about reason and try and bring people to reason. I think that's one of the the big steps. Um, so the only, the, only oh, go ahead. Yeah. the only problem I have with you putting them in that order with, you know, let's learn as much as we can about the universe with a sub goal of let's figure out how to, you know, make sure that we're going to live. Um, right. I think it's kind of, I think it's the, the inverse because in much the same way that I'd like to learn everything there is to know about the universe, I also have to do some triage. And if it turns out that the way for me to find out more about the universe um, is blocked if I don't focus first on how to increase the longevity of humans and, and, and me, um, then it doesn't matter that my goal was to find out as much as possible. If we're, we're, if we're on a path to uh, destroying the planet and killing everybody off in 100 years, I don't think that's the case. But if, if that's the trajectory you're on, merely saying I want to learn as much about the universe uh, doesn't mean anything if what we if we don't first learn how to avoid that 100-year deadline. And I agree with you 100%, and that's why... And that's and why I you're correct. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, the, the statement is saying is we have to address that issue before we enable, yeah. in order to support the other mission. And when I say... Uh, I seem to misrepresent myself when I talk about this a lot, too, because I'm not saying that I'm going to learn as much about the universe as possible. I'm saying humanity. Yeah. So I'm saying even 10,000 years from now, if we have, want to have a hope of answering a question like where, what's beyond the edge of the universe, or whatever the case might be, a huge question like that, then we have to focus all of our efforts as a species together on answering those types of things. And part of that is ensuring we maximize our use of this planet and another planet if able. Um, so we're, we're up against time and we've completely skipped absolutely. John, and I want to make sure John gets to chime in on this before we head out the yeah. door. Yeah, the, yeah. Only, the only other thought I had was I'd, I'd sure like to figure out a way we can live peacefully together on this planet um, so that we would have more time to focus on questions like exploring yep. the universe and how to sustain our planet and things like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm by no means a pacifist in any simple sense. I recognize yeah. that there are situations where there's going to be conflict. But on the other hand, I have to acknowledge that if we could move to a civilization where there wasn't resources being spent on war and conflict, exactly. um, how many other problems could we solve and how much more likely? So, I mean, I, I, don't want, I don't want to advocate for pacifism in the utopian pie in the sky sense. Yeah, um, yeah. But even if we never got to a purely pacifistic environment, we're certainly fucking up right now and we could yep. do a lot better job 
Um, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm with John. And, and, and to, to his point too, we'd have to, if, if we were focusing all of our efforts and our resources on learning as much about the world as possible, whatever the case, we'd certainly have to be inclusive and, and maintain human rights because you'd have marginalized groups that would that would be fighting for survival. Because at the end of the day, everybody has self-interest that they're going to uh, want to serve. Um, and that has to be a huge focus too, just making sure people can survive on a, in, a, in a comfortable way. I think there's actually a, a kind of a solution to that, and it's not easy in any way. Um, but it seems to me that part of the problem with conflict and this idea of looking out for oneself is recognizing that we are very bad. We are, we are myopic when it comes to seeing benefits in the short term versus benefits in the long term. Like, it's, yeah. it's absolutely in my best interest right now uh, to go in and, and rob a bank that it doesn't have any security systems where there's virtually no chance that I could get caught. Yeah. But is that in my best interest long term? It's in my best interest to, uh, you know, drive the truck that allows me to do my job uh, even if it's, you know, horribly inefficient. But would it be better for me to take a slight loss on my ability to do my job if it promoted sustainability? Yep. And so the solution to these things, in my opinion, along with most everything else, is education and making people aware that their first intuitions, that their suspicions about how this is going to benefit them positively may actually be correct and wrong because they're only looking at the short term instead of the long term, or they're only looking how it affects them and the people immediately around them versus how it affects everybody on the planet. And I, yeah, that's a, so how do we do these things? How do we, I think what you guys are doing is awesome, you know. Well, I don't know, the, show, the show's over. We gave you our part. You figure out how to fix it. <laughs> hey, I'm working on it. I'm calling to get different people's opinions, so I appreciate cool. it. Thank Thank, you very thanks much. for the call. Uh, Catch you later. All right.